sadly, you're probably not going to be able to see it much during the reaction because I'm always sitting back with my bad posture doing some crazy pose or something. But you know we had to get the Torador shirt to hype up the show because you know I'm already feeling it. Even though the copyright absolutely sucks. I love the show. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Toradora episode 9. Last episode, we had Amy versus Taiga in, in the race. Technically, Taiga lost, but that's also because she also kind of seceded. She kind of gave it up in order to save Ryuji, which is a very value, valiant, you know, respectable thing. But since she lost, Ryuji does have to go to Amy's vacation house. But as a proper dog owner that Taiga is, she has to make sure her dog, Ryuji, doesn't fuck up and cause cause a, cause a wreck, cause havoc at the vacation home. So as a good dog owner, she's going to go with them. So it's going to be like the whole squad going on vacation, pretty much. So I'm excited. I know some shenanigans, some sexual tension, and some fucking pranks or tomfoolery is going to go down that is for damn sure now remember with certain shows like this one now i cannot put the reaction on youtube otherwise it will get blocked taken down immediately so make sure to click that link in the description come back here for the review and if you guys do want to support the channel but also get early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching check out that patreon down below if patreon's not really your thing but you still want to support please leave a like and maybe a nice comment down below as well it means more than you guys really know and if you guys are not subscribed please subscribe and join that notification gang let's hop into this toradora episode 9 it is called when you go to the sea Maybe it's just me personally, but me, myself, at the age of these guys, I don't know their exact age. I'm guessing end of middle school, beginning of high school, like uh, freshmen at most, I would say, in high school. But I just can't see myself being as mature as they are and having like these real deep heart to heart conversations as a kid because. I was just so fucking, I was so immature and I was so idiotic. It's just crazy. But I just, I wish I had been more mature. You know, if I go back in time and you know, I, I, that, that, we'll just leave that right there. I'm just saying like, that was like, and see, it's like, it's very realistic because you really don't know what the other person's feeling, but you have some, you're, you're given some sort of clue and insight. You know, he, he nervously spouts, you know, Kushida, do you have a boyfriend? And she says, do you believe in ghosts? And you know, that's a that's a very not controversial, it's not the word I'm trying to look for, but that's a non-singular topic. Like a lot of people have very diversifying opinions on that. But for for her to relate that to love and then relate that back to his question, I just think uh, that was awesome. But like I said, I just can't picture myself have I wish I could have that conversation because she was like, you know, a lot of people believe in ghosts. A lot of people even said they've seen ghosts. I don't believe them, but I personally do believe they're out there just like love you know like i've never been in love I've never felt that way but i believe i will fall in love be married ha live happily it's it's when you think about it like that love is way more of a concrete thing than than ghosts and, and paranormal activity but it's not love is such a construct idea in and of itself but what is love you know how do you how do you know when you've seen when you when you feel love for someone how do you know when you've seen a ghost how do you it's like it's a thing that's so accepted in a modern society you know like to the point where you'll see fucking middle schoolers who've been dating somebody for a week say i love you you know it's, it's such it's lost a lot of its meaning but it, it's supposed to be this grandiose it's, it's supposed to be the most spectacular most emotional emotion that didn't make sense you can feel for someone love is supposed to be the pinnacle of emotion in my opinion you know that's the exact spectrum you got love and like i don't know what the other end would be rage i have I, you know it's literally though so it's just like i just feel like they went super deep into the, in this episode and i really appreciate that because it's something that i don't even think about myself like little do you guys know i have not dated in years i have not really been interested in dating in years i'm really interested in getting this money and you know getting secured in terms of happiness for myself and stuff like that so it's like hasn't really been high on my priority list but it's just when it happens it happens and you know it's it, it's something that you never think about like quite like that like you're like damn 
it's like if you truly think about it it's, it's just something that you can think about for a long period of time it's a very deep conversational topic and i'm glad they touched on it i talked about that for way too long only other thing i want to talk about was in my opinion it is so clear that some of these guys are faking so much shit like i'm not talking like amy have you guys heard that that was my vegas rendering sorry i'm not talking like amy that's like obvious like out there kind of fake i like that fake it's clear fake i can see it's fake but like kita mora i have a i have a theory that this entire thing is going to be shot down this entire endeavor and trying to get kita mora's heart is going to be shot down in the end by just admitting that he likes like his crush currently the person he's in love with currently is the student council president the one who was talking about the missing agendas or the missing notebooks that people have because he i remember specifically he said wow she's one hell of a woman or something like that and then amy this episode was like everything you, you know you were cool to take a vacation He's like yeah what's on and like nothing's wrong with the student council and like it seems like because they're childhood friends that she's implying that he has some sort of responsibility or duty to the student council which it's on summer break so he shouldn't but that's just where i get that implication is that he likes the president because he's vp i'm pretty sure right um only other thing that i think is sneaky faking is taiga because if no matter how anxious and nervous you were if you had that opportunity to go mopeding by yourself with the person of your dreams on a vacation island you're gonna take it you're gonna take it and like my example for that is ryuji he's probably heartbeat super nervous fucking whatever but he still goes out there with uh kushieda you know like she's like i'm gonna give you a special surprise you know but taiga says no to going mopeding with kitamura and also is constantly commenting like why is it that i'm so nervous around kitamura but i'm so calm around you it's such a big room why am i sitting right next to you like you're literally talking about it taiga you are just not it's like slapping you in the face like you like ryuji you like ryuji you like ryuji it's just she just will not accept it and the day in which it's finally accepted and they fucking make out for the first that sounded so weird because they're kids but you guys know what i'm saying like i just want there to be some sort of acceptance i will be fulfilled in my life once that occurs i'm gonna go watch this next episode though thank you dapper squad i appreciate y'all have a wonderful day peace out you guys